Hey guys, so today I am going to do another album artwork makeup look. Today I am doing Panic at the Disco, A Few of You Can't Sweat Out, which is my all time favourite album. I love it so much. So yeah, I've already done my base and my eyebrows. So I'm going to be using a mixture of things on my eyes. I'm going to be using my Make My Own Palette. Just ignore this because an eyeshadow smashed in here the other day. I'm going to be using this gold colour here. I'm going to be using the Sleek Solstice Palette. Just for the inner corner, I'm going to be using this beautiful highlight here. And for the main burgundy look, I'm going to be using the Makeup Revolution Neutrals versus Neutrals which I'm sure you've probably seen. This was in my Makeup Revolution Top 10 palette video, which I will link down below. Let's just get started. So I'm using a flat brush. I'm gonna go in with the Sleek Solstice palette in that really beautiful highlight. Place that on the inner corner. but it has that nice gold in it that looks really good that we want. So I'm going to go in with that gold colour that I showed you before. This is an MUA shadow. I don't know the name but I will get the name for you and leave it in the description box. I'm just going to pop that all over my lid. See, this is a really yellow gold but if you look at the album artwork for this album it's more of a yellowy gold so this is kind of the perfect colour. this shadow is so pigmented so we've got that down I'm just going to do my transition colour and that's in the fortune favours the brave I'm going to be using these two here particularly this one just because it's I'm using it as my mirror so it's here it's going to help with that red colour just to blend everything that we're going to be using in a minute done. I'm not going to use that darker brown but I might use it to deepen up later on. So I'm going to go in to the neutrals versus neutrals which is one of my absolute favourite palettes. I'm going to be taking this colour here which I don't know the name of because I don't keep the slips. And I'm going to be taking a fluffy brush to apply that with. I'm just going to place it in the crease to start me off. give that a blend and just really lightly blend to get them edges really really smooth and I'm gonna add a little bit more take this dark brown, darken that crease up and I'm going to use the same brush as my transition colour. Blend. I'm going to blend it with some of that red colour. high to my eyebrow but it's fine because I'm going to take the highlight that we used before which is in the Solstice palette from Sleek and I'm going to place that under the brow using the really small end of my flat shadow brush. I'm going to do a little bit on the bottom. I'm going to take 
the E9 brush from MUA, it's tiny, and just place some of that on the bottom so it links up. is really pigmented so I'm being really really light handed and then I'm going to take that gold shade as well it's that under the eye so it all matches then blend that out with the E3 and add just a little hint more of that gold onto the lid from what we lost before the edges, another quick blend because it never hurts. I'm going to line, but I'm going to do a winged liner and I'm going to use the MUA Eye Define felt tip. Again, I think that the adding the wing kind of makes it a little bit more wearable. Now I'm going to curl my lashes. What I'm using is the Rimmel Scandalized Retro Glam Mascara. bottom lashes I'm using the PS Love Volumizing Mascara, this is one of the Primark one. Before I go in to do a second coat I'm going to do my cheeks and I'm going to start by contouring. So I'm going to be using the Makeup Revolution Iconic Light and Contour Pro Palette and I'm going to be using this shade here. with a big fluffy brush, not that one, that's for my bronzer. <laughs> then I'm going to just add some bronzer and I'm using the Makeup Revolution All About Bronze palette and I just swirl these four colours together because it looks really nice. give that an extra blend with the big blending brush. I use this to set my face with powder, so this is my powder brush as well. So now I'm going to add some blush and I'm using the Makeup Revolution Sugar and Spice Blush Palette. I'm going to be using this one here. I literally gave it the lightest touch and it's just completely on. I don't like my blush this strong. I'm good enough. <laughs> and now I'm going to highlight using the Sleek Solstice palette and using the gold colour here. going to give that highlight just a quick blend just to kind of get rid of them sharp edges and then that's it that's all I'm doing to my highlight so I'm going to add a second coat of mascara the same ones before moving on to lipstick the last step 
step is the lipstick and I'm using the collection, what are these called? Blasting Colour in Plum Sensation. This is number 20. This is a matte finish. It's like this. It's really pretty. with an eye this like colourful and stuff I wouldn't normally put a dark lipstick with it but it's all for the album and that's the completed look I hope you enjoyed this video and this look let me know if you like this album or whatever or if you just like the look in general really if you did enjoy this video do give it a big thumbs up and I will see you next time. Bye.